What's up, everyone? Bo Pericic, Dean of Cosmic Academy here. And today we'll be discussing a very simple, although very effective technique that I use and teach to improve your drum programming workflow in Logic. So what I see a lot of my students do all the time, and it, and it drives me crazy to see, is I'll see them manually sequencing out their kick drums and their snares in audio. They'll arrange one by one, sample by sample, all of their kick drums. And as you can see, it's a very tedious, annoying process. And let's just say we have you know entire tracks worth of kick drums already programmed. Maybe you have a five minute track and you have all your kicks there. And you realize that your kick can be a little better. Well, if you have to go back and delete everything you spent hours doing and you know, redo it, you're going to be less inclined to change the kick to the best possible sample. So I always teach my students that it's very important to have an efficient streamlined workflow that makes doing what's best for your track easy. If your workflow is set up in a very efficient way and you can go through a lot more different options of whether it's a kick sample, a snare sample, doesn't matter in a shorter period of time, just the law of numbers, right? You're going to run into the perfect sample uh, sooner. So instead of doing this in audio, forget about that. We're just gonna delete this audio track. Instead, we're going to use an EXS24 sampler uh, that comes with Logic. But before we do that, I'm just gonna create a MIDI region. I'm gonna pencil in some quarter note kick drums, some four on the floor, basic kick pattern. And we can worry about the velocity and the note lengths later. It's not really relevant right now. So this is very simple, just a couple of steps. You're gonna click and open EXS24. You're gonna click on edit, which will load the instrument editor. And in the media browser over here on the top right, I just pointed it to a random folder full of kick drums. So let's say I wanted to go through all of these kick drums to see if they work well in the track. Well, again, if I, if I did this in audio, I would have to copy and paste every one of these kick files, kick drum samples, uh, multiple times. So instead of doing that, we're just gonna select them all, drag them into EXS24, and then it's going to ask us how we would like to build the map. And I want you to select contigu contiguous zones. What that's going to do is it's going to map out the drums in sequence from C1 all the way up to whatever the last sample is. So once I hit OK, you now see all these different boxes here. I'm gonna close this. I'm just gonna call this Kick Pack 2. This is really helpful in the future if you, uh, once you do this uh, a lot and enough and this becomes part of your workflow, eventually you'll just have a ton of presets ready to, ready to go uh, and you won't even have to do all this stuff. So the more you use this technique over time, that in itself will make your process a lot more efficient. So now that we have all these different kick samples mapped across uh, our keyboard, all we need to do is the following. I'm gonna hit play. And as it's playing, going to go into our inspector view and we're simply going to transpose it one half step at a time. And each time I do that, it's going to be playing a new kick sample. So this way, as the track is playing, you can very quickly hear different options and pick what's best for the track. Once you've found the one you want, you just leave it at that transposition uh, parameter and boom, there you go. If in the future you ever wanted to replace that sample with a different kick drum, you can do the same thing. You can just take whatever kick you want from your audio browser and drag it into any one of these keys and just make note that if you do that you may want to delete the already existing samples so you don't have two different kicks playing at the same time so this technique can be used for more than just kicks i like to use it for snares hi-hats anything percussion any sort of one shot uh, this is a really helpful fast easy technique that doesn't require buying any new plugins uh, if you want to eventually use a different sampler Instead of EXS24, feel free to do so. Doesn't really matter. Everyone has different preferences, but that's the gist of this technique. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope that helps. 
And if you have any questions, just shoot me an email, boat at cosmicconcepts.com. See you guys later.